Okay, Coach Hebner, um, I know that you love being a head coach for a high school team, so much so that you give your Sunday up to come to this OEC event at Cedar Point. So uh, our kind of team doctor, so to speak, son was here wrestling and uh, asked if I would come to Cole, come actually Cole does some private work with him and said, hey, would you guys mind taking it some time out to come coach this uh, young guy? And so me and Cole came out to coach him and uh, you know, I really was excited to see the venue. I, you know, this is the first time I've been here. I'm what do you think? It. It's awesome. Like, I'm looking at my chops, you know, the Disney duels, the AAU duels, the, you know, a Virginia Beach type event here. I think... Uh, June, that's the plan. You know that, right? I hope so. That's actually literally the plan in June. Oh, is it? Okay. No, we're, yeah, we're, they're literally, OAC is, we're working at, they already have the facility. Folk style or freestyle, do we know? Uh, I don't know the answer to that yet. Okay. I, it might be folk, I don't know, though. So, I'm, I don't know. I don't know, whatever, I mean... Yeah. Jared Upper is an innovator, so I'm sure you'll oh, yeah. see something that will be conducive to the, the number game. Yeah, and I think with the, this part of the country makes perfect sense, right? All the club teams that are driving you know, driving distance away from here, man, we could have a, have a heck of a good a club. It'd event. be amazing. Yeah. And I don't know if you know, it's really hot in June in Florida. Yeah. Like, really hot. And then, like, yeah. they do the coaches convention, the NWCA coaches convention. That's in August in, like... Daytona Beach. Yeah, I go there. It's like going to hell for forty-eight hours yeah. and coming back. It's so hot. But you know, it's mild here. It's not bad in June. Yeah, we got it can't get hot. Yeah, I think it's a great venue for I love people it. to vacation. You know, yeah. wrestle four duels in the morning. You know, hit the park in the afternoon. Absolutely, I'm excited about it. Yes. So, Cole Hebner. Yep. Is from the bottom up. OAC. OAC Junior High State Champion. You've done all these events with your son. I don't even need to like get like an approval of yours. How great is the OAC at running these youth events, the state tournaments, grade school, junior high? How, yeah. well, if you could say to like a, a beginning youth parent, what would you say about OAC oh, to them? It's phenomenal. Um, that, that kind of stuff wasn't available when you and I were coming through. You know, we wrestled in a couple of bitty tournaments locally and thought we were really good and you know didn't get exposed. Um, I was just talking to somebody earlier about what a great job the OAC does of emulating the high school state tournament in Youngstown. Like, I think that is so, so important. And, and you're seeing it, right? Kids are freshmen. They get in the shot and steam, and they're not, you know, they're not in awe, right? We've been in big venues. We've wrestled in big places like this. So I think what the OEC has done for high school wrestling or for wrestling in general in Ohio is tremendous. Talked to Justin Mays yesterday. 182 pounds, state tournament. Division two is going to be wild. <laughs> it's going to be wild. You know, there's one of the news brothers from Graham. Yep. There's there's Cole, there's Mays, it's, it's, and there's a couple more guys in there in Division Two. Yeah. The parody is incredible. We don't know who's going to win that weight. Right. That's one of the weights I got marked. Yeah. Same with D1, 182. Yeah. You know? um, when you look at it being his last go-around, there will be a state tournament. Yep. It most likely will be in a high school. Yep. How excited are you for this is, this is the end for the dad-son stuff as far yes. as coming, bringing him in from elementary grade school yeah. to high school state tournament. It'll be it for you. Oh, well, Price still coach. Not, yeah, I'm going to continue to coach, but I'm, 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 I think he's ready, and I'm ready in the sense that I think he needs to go to that next level, right? Keith Gavin can really bring him something that I can offer anymore, right? I think, I think he's to that level, right? He's, he's ready for Jordan Lean and, and Keith and and True Headley to, you know, bring him, bring him something new. I, you know, I haven't wrestled for a minute here, so. No, I'm excited for it. How excited are you for the 182 weight, though? Like, it's... Oh, I'm excited. Anyone can win the weight. Like, oh, we, could, yeah. we could put it together five different weekends and get five different champs. Maybe. Yeah. Definitely three different champs, because there's three front runners there, right? Right. But, like, five guys can win the weight. Yeah, there's, there's, it's a good weight. Yeah. I mean, I love it. I, I'm super excited about yeah. it. I, I'm, you're probably nervous excited, though. Like, that feeling in your stomach nervous? I haven't... You know, I, you know I'm not thinking that far ahead yet, really. Yeah. Just trying to, trying to get better every single week and work on the positions we need to work on and... We'll be ready when the time comes. He's not going to get his final year in the shot. Does that matter to you? I think it matters more to me than it does to my kids and our team. You know, I for, for always harp on our kids about Saturday night, getting your name announced and running out on that stage. And, you know, for me, that was the vision that I always preached to these kids in the room about being there on Saturday night on stage. And, you know, for me, it's like, man, 
I've preached this thing, and now like that's not going to be what it is. But the kids are beyond it. Like they just want to, they just want to go wrestle, and win a title. They don't care if it's in the back alley somewhere. They just want to wrestle. Yeah, Zach uh, Manton told me that yesterday. Because it could be in my barn. I don't care. I want to stay title. Yeah. So I think the kids are way more resilient than maybe the dads and the coaches are. Like I, I had that vision in my mind for him and for these guys that I coach. So, but it'll be fine. All right. You got anything else for me? No, that's it. Appreciate it. Thank you for the time. Go Cougars. Where are you guys at next? Uh, so we have Campfield on Wednesday. Is that uh, to qualify for the state duels? No. We were also St. V's to qualify in a few weeks. Um, and then Sunday, so originally the CITs was always this weekend, Saturday, Sunday. Um, due to COVID, that got canceled. So I brought three CI, three Catholic schools that would be at the CITs at our gym on Sunday. So us, Columbus Bishop, Hartley, uh, Palmer, and Columbus to Sales, and Cleveland Central Catholic. Okay. So in your gym, one, Saturday? 1 p.m. Uh, Sunday. Sunday. 1 p.m. Sunday. All right, Coach. Yep. Good luck to you guys. Thanks yep. for the time. Thanks, Abby.